Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato here, and I'm gonna be playing some Astroneers. This has been a game that I've been wanting to play for a while. I've had it in my in my my games for a couple years now. I I did some betas on it and things like that. Just didn't want to. It didn't play very good. Now with the newest updates and and all the recent stuff, and I saw the new rail update that was just released. I really do want to play this, so I'm gonna do a small series on it. So if, if you guys like it, go ahead and let me know in the comments and let's get started. And I might add a space astronaut effect to my voice. We'll see how that goes. But let's go ahead and get started. Over here, my dropship out on this planet. I love yeah, I just love the graphics of this game. They're they're simple. They're they're simple but yet nice. If 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 that makes any sense whatsoever. And I think what kept me from playing this game for the longest time over on here on Sylvia is the controller use and slash keyboard mouse use of this game was very wonky and just couldn't I, I couldn't couldn't get get into it because of that the wonky controls. Go ahead and take this oxygenator, put it over here, because you know, we do need oxygen on a planet. I don't know what these trees are breathing and all these plants, but hey, it's a strange world, so not everything is based off of what we know. And I do, I do absolutely love space type games, space, um, space, uh, what am I, what am I trying to say here? Space survival games? And this one, this one is relatively, it's not complicated. I mean, the only thing we really we really worry about is is oxygen because you know you, you need oxygen to breathe in space, even though we're on a planet with wind. And even though that there is a air and space museum, there is no air in space. <laughs> Bad dad joke right there. I apologize. Okay, so we're connect the tether. And I just I love the I love the this. The gameplay screen, there's there's no heads up. All I although I do kind of um do kind of like having the missions displayed on the screen. Go ahead, drop a tether. Yeah, there's compounds. Oh wait, is that the one? That's tracked. Landfilling and landfilling. All right. There we go. That's what I need. He's right here. Drop the tether. And I have, and, and I have been uh, practicing for a couple of days of playing this game. Believe it or not, uh, it, it because it, it is some of the things in the game are not straightforward to understanding. So, yeah, you got that too. So I've I've played a few. Uh, a few hours of it before trying to do this. Retooling. Some of these some of these I want to track, but eh, oh I can wait. I need to gather resin. Oh I have a lot of stuff in my backpack. And I know there's probably a lot of things that I'm missing or or not doing right but really is is there a right and wrong way to play play games like this just I'm just putting that out there no I don't think there is I need to find some up oh, there it is it's, I think this is the resin yeah this is the resin and I also want to flatten this area out some more. Go ahead and examine the log. Get some platforms going. Medium platform, medium platform A. Don't want to put it right there. There is a arrow on these things. If you could spin them right, you could see the arrow which way they... The front facing and rear facing of it. That's the front facing. Just go ahead and drop that there. Oop, wrong button. Unpack it. 
game also has power management as well, which is something that is fun to do. Once once you once you start doing it, getting getting it, once you work it out, let's put it that way. It's it's a basic game, but it's it's complicated at the same time, but not overly complicated. Connect those two together. Is this medium storage? So they want me to print a medium printer. Oh, I'm gonna just put this up here. Oh, lock these down. I always have my my problem is I always lock down or if I if I don't lock something down I'll grab it and whatever's on top will fall to the ground. Love the graphics on this as well. I I've said that before, but saying it again. Let me go ahead and uh I want to flatten all this area out. And if you if you haven't played this game before and you're playing on mouse keyboard, oh, I just launched that. <laughs> I just launched that thing into space. There we go. Uh, wait, what happened? Oh, there we go. In order to flatten things out, you need that little uh that little pack that's on. If you look right here, uh, this thing right here, the uh. The canister, when you pick up soil from digging up resources, the soil will go into this canister and then you can use this canister to um, manipulate the terrain. I could flatten it out, I could add, make the terrain, raise it, lower it. Something that took me a little bit to figure out when I first did it because I'm like, I know I can do it, but I didn't know I needed the... Lock that down. I didn't know I needed the... Uh, the soil canister. One of those things that they really don't tell you, but they do or don't. Melters. See, I want to do this, but I know I don't have uh, the items to make that power problems. Or science. And this one, uh, these lights in the distance, I will do in a little bit. Maybe, maybe the next episode. What is this? Oh, you get large platforms. Go ahead and grab this. Oh. There we go. And then I'll put this right here. Where's the front? Oh. Oh. Where's the arrow at? Wish they made that arrow just a little bit easier to see. Go ahead and drop this right here. Plug it in like this. Lock that down, so I'll plug this one in back there as well. What is that? Medium storage. Span that, lay it down. They want me to print a small generator, I think it was. Oh, see. Always examine. There we go. Oxygenator. I am going to print another one of these. Also, you don't have to go back to this thing for the mission log. If you look on your backpack, you also have a mission log. Power problems. I need to print and connect a small generator. And if you hit your tab key, this right here is everything that you could buy and build in the game. This is for backpack. This is for a small printer to print out. Medium printer. In large printer it is kind of confusing because when you click on it, it says large printer but you can print a large printer from a medium printer a medium a small printer prints a medium printer but if you go down these are everything that you could buy and it costs these science bites that you get for for going out looking uh, finding science points to research and doing just different things these bites will go up and that is what makes you able to buy the different things backpack wait let me look at my backpack There we go, so backpack right there. That, that's also what confuses me too, is having something like that. And it went to, where did it go to? There it is, there's this, no that's the small canister. There's the generator. I'm just gonna stick it right here on here. Right here on here, that makes no sense at all. It's also nice that I can track that or do that from a a distance from a distance battery backup wait power problems okay what is that sitting on 
What's that sitting on? Okay, so I could attach that to my shelter right here. These these little shelters, they are um, they provide power, oxygen, and also your save point. Okay, what else do I need to do? I need to make a smelter, a furnace. Got that going, and do a research chamber. Research chamber. Oh, I can make one right now. But I'm going to need... No, I do have a large platform, so... Go ahead and print this out. My battery is now fully charged, but see, as the sun goes down... I guess this right here is the... They got solar panels sitting on top of this, which helps charge it up during the daytime. But at night, as you can see, your battery does go down quickly. It, it stores 32 units of power. And the thing about... At night, if you don't have enough power backup, watch this this printer go very sl It will slow down like that. So it takes things very, a long time to, to do if you don't have enough power. It does provide power. Now it's producing one unit per second, but it's not enough to really speed things up. So that's where your, your battery and power backups come into play. Definitely need to want to get um, solar power and uh, wind power because that wind as you can see the wind does come and go splitter and extenders okay so this is vanessa that's a, not a planet those two planets i can't get to as of right now so i'm not going to even do that so i still want to do these right here i also need to start exploring i also want to get i should print out uh, i need to Run out another couple of large platforms. I like the B platforms because they have the extensions on them compared to the A platforms, which are just, I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, the, the, the B platforms have the sides on them that you could put storage like this. So I don't know why, why I would not want to print those. So I get beacon and some lights. Right there. What is this? So game this. Need to go sampling. And I also need to get some more resin. But with this, I can actually take something like anything and put it onto, onto here. Turn the power on to examine it. It takes like smaller things don't take as long so this will give me 49 bytes of uh research points for just researching that the bigger items do give you more points which okay uh eventually i will find one of those there is a there's a, a bandit wreck up there so i need to go up there they the bandit wrecks do provide some extra equipment that you may not have right up front so that, that definitely comes in handy to have those laying around all over. Oh, there's a huge field of this. All right. These planets, these planets are randomly uh, generated. So are what they call procedurally generated, which means they're randomly generated. So every time you start a new game, things will be completely different. So nothing will ever be the same on the planets when you respawn or restart the game or new game. You know what I'm trying to say. If I can get up this hill. Alright. Sometimes they don't provide anything like uh, this one. Oh, I'm almost out of oxygen. I'm gonna die. Something to keep uh, keep your eye on. There's a research thing right there. The nice thing about this game is when you do die. Oh, I'm still doing the, the slide. When you do die... It, it, they're, the only thing is you drop everything that's in your backpack and you just go get your backpack and pick it up and uh, that's That's the only downside of dying. So there is no downside Except you die and you have to go back and get it and now now I've fallen into the holes going underground that uh, Yeah, that could be a problem I'm just sticking this stuff on here for now. I'm not gonna keep it here. All right, let me go up here. And I do want to make a vehicle soon. 
Okay, so right here we got a small battery, which is good. So like I said, usually these things right here, they, they do offer one item. And you can't move it. If you can't move it right off the top, just go ahead and clear the, the ground away from it until it drops like that. And then you're able to move it. So now I can... And later on, I'm, I'll be able to, once I, I make a scrapping machine... What is that? That's debris. I will be able to um, scrap all this for... I keep hitting the wrong button. For research purposes. These right here, you'll find these all over the place. These are what will give you more bites for research. You got the small ones, and they're all different colors. Some underground, and then you got some bigger ones that are laying out there that you're able to find and carry back to your, your research chamber to, to get points, and you just throw them in there. So with this battery, I'm going to go ahead and plug it. What's going on? My power is... So power indicator, if you look at these lights right here, that will show you the power indicator. I might turn this one off real quick. There we go. So each item that's as you plug it in, as you can see, it does consume power. Take that battery and throw it onto here. As you saw, now it now it did increase the power, but it is sucking up the power from the battery. Now if I had um if I come out here and just gather up the organic stuff, which is on the, which is organic, all this, all this stuff up here, this I can put into that little, uh, small generator that I just made, and it will power up that small generator, problem with that is, it doesn't provide much energy, and I will need to make a different platform for it, so it's able to take things from the, the storage and put it right into here, so this right here shows that it is going and it is making power. So I'm going to take this. Carry it because I can not move faster when I walk. You know what? I'm going to put this down because I want to smooth some more of this area out. Oh, and I... Yep. Did that before. And to make things smooth at the, at the beginning... Oh, I got to quit doing that. Just start where the, uh, the, this, this area was created when you first got into the game. Put your, your little circle over it and then hit your, your control key if you're on keyboard and you get this symbol. And if you just bring it out, that will keep things smooth and flat. If, if you tend to tilt it, it will make everything tilty. So, just a, just a little tip at the beginning. And every now and then I do do, res I do do reset it. I do reset it by going back and doing it. Starting again from the local, the local, the starting area. English 101, sometimes I, sometimes, a lot of times I have lots of problem with it, even though that is my main language. Sad, sad to say, I guess. Um, okay, so where, <laughs> where did this go? Nope. Let go of that. Nope, let go of that. Pick that up and put it this back down. Thought I had that locked in. I did, but I think because I moved the ground underneath it, it messed everything up. Alright, lock that down. I think this is I think this ground is relatively flat. No, it is not. See as you can tell right there. So I just drag this from where I started from and see if I can flatten that out. Still looks kind of crooked. Huh, that is not working. What's going on here? Okay, flat. That might be doing something. And I did it again. Yeah, see, you can see right here it's all bumpy and stuff. I don't want that. There we go. I think that's it. Maybe? Maybe? Which one did I unlock? I know I bumped one of these machines again. I think it was this one. Did I bump this machine? Oh, yep. Alright. So another... Need to craft another medium or large platform. I need resin. There we go. 
What's also nice is, is it takes, so if I have anything on my backpack that re is required, it will take it from my backpack, and that's what these little uh, medium storages are for as well, which makes these platforms right here nice, because if you put a medium storage on the platform with like this printer and have all these items on it, it will pull it directly from that printer, or the storage to the printer, as long as it's on the same platform. I'm spending some extra time trying to make this area flat. This way, the, uh, when I put the equipment down and not bump it all over the place. Uh, get back over here. Like I have been doing. Lock it. Alright. It will sit better on the ground. Yeah, see that looks like that's going to be sitting on a non-smooth surface. Now the reason why these arrows are here, so when you do craft stuff, it will craft, like when this printer, it will craft out here, so that's why I was trying to make things flat, but also for, farther, for, far, far, <laughs> farther, further out so it doesn't craft within here, and it won't matter if it does. Oh, here we go, turn this back on, let's start researching. And I also need to build a furnace, I think. Do I have a furnace unlocked? Research chamber. The see what the mission log says. Uh, smelting furnace. What unlocks the smelting furnace? Smelting furnace, here we go. And I also want... A soil centrifuge. I can't save this because there is a there is a quest that will give it to me, but I think I'm just gonna unlock it anyways because I don't have enough points to do it. Oh no, I need to I don't know what I need to do. Alright, so there we go, we need two resin. Go ahead and print this out. Spin this around, see where it's at. That out there, unpack it. Lock it down, and plug, plug it in. I can put the furnace right... Oh, the furnace there, unlock it. And I need to make some medium, some more medium storage, so I need more resin. Time to go get some more resin. Big cave opening. That's that's good. Makes it easier to get down in the caves when they have openings like that, and then you can kind of ramp your way down, make a smooth ramp so you don't fall too far in. I I still fall in. Once I complete this, I will go ahead and call this one uh, episode one. Again, I'm gonna. I plan on doing uh, more episodes of this because I, I I enjoy this game. This game is fun. It is also a, a multiplayer co-op game. So if if you haven't tried it out, it is co-op. It is also available on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, this game is out there for you to play for free. Kind of, because it's on the Game Pass, even though we're paying for the Game Pass. It's free, but not free, but it is free. That makes any sense at all. Let me go ahead and print one more out. So, like, right here, as, as I didn't point this uh, platform right, so as you can see, it is printing things underneath here. Which isn't a problem, because it doesn't get in the way. Doesn't look good, so... Alright, so with that, I am going to go ahead and call this one a... A game this is this is uh, my episode one we have touched down and uh, I will be doing some more after this if you like this go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments below thumbs up thumbs down it's all good if you do like the content I am doing subscribe that would be great that would really help me out I usually don't ask but I need to start asking more so I'll, I'll wait to the end of my videos and as always you guys have a great time out there exploring these planets and Astroneer enjoy your journey I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot!